Lean, Clean and Green. That's the name of the award given to our next railroad by the U.S. government for its efforts to reduce its carbon footprint. It's time to head to one of the most eco-friendly railroads on the planet for a journey to one of the natural wonders of the world, behind a steam engine solely powered by recycled vegetable oil. Next stop, the Grand Canyon Railway, located in Williams, Arizona. Over eons, the Colorado River relentlessly carved out these 30,000 acres of breathtaking beauty from flatland and gave us the Grand Canyon. 2,000 feet down, at the bottom, the river has exposed two billion year old rocks. To glory in this geology more than a century ago, you had to walk, ride a horse or a mule or a stagecoach to get there. But the door was flung open for everyone in 1901 by this. The railroad out of Williams hauled only ore in the 1800s until a local official got the idea of extending the rails to the canyon for tourists. The Atchison, Topeka, and Santa Fe made it happen, replacing a skull-pounding eight-hour stagecoach ride with a couple of hours on a restful train. And you might say people like it. It's a great way to get out of the car. Most of us travel by car all the time. We're in and out. It's very hectic. And on the train, which is two hours and 15 minutes, you have time to relax and, and enjoy the ride. Look out the window, see some animals, but talk to your family, get up, move around in the train, have a beverage and, and a snack, and just really relax on your way to the Grand Canyon. Arrive here, walk a very short distance, and there you are, right at the Grand Canyon. The Grand Canyon Railway has pumped up the volume of tourists taking the train by now offering four classes of service, coach, dome, first class, and luxury. The taste of luxury in the parlor car awaits you. Hors d'oeuvres on a plate and a sip of something. Or looking at the passing landscape with the wind in your hair. I get the best of both worlds. I get to be outdoors and in the breeze and on the train at the same time. The service was great. The people were excellent on the train, had an enjoyable time. It's more family oriented, it's, it's open. People get to talk to one another, you get to look at each other, people are in the same cabin with you. It's very enjoyable. You do not get that on travel with any other form of transportation. Most of us want to slow down our lives. And it's a good bet we also want to protect the air, the water, and the other Grand Canyons of the world. And of the more than 200 scenic trains in America, the Grand Canyon Railway may just be the lead locomotive in protecting the environment. Okay, Eric, how'd she perform today? She did real well, Sam. Um, Chief Mechanical really Officer well Sam Lanter and uh, Engineer Eric Hatter are looking over perhaps the most remarkable steam engine in operation well. today. Number 4960 stands apart from almost all others because of what she uses to fuel her boiler. So this veggie oil burned really well today. Yeah, it burned really clean. We had no problems with pressure. You heard right, veggie oil. The Grand Canyon Railway has converted this engine to run on recycled waste vegetable oil. Well, let's face it, I'm a steam fan and I love steam locomotives. And, and to find a way and have a way that we could keep steam operating and make it environmentally friendly and, and take the 19 uh, 20s technology and be able to use it today and still offer the public a chance to see a live dinosaur, if you will. Yeah, we're proud of being able to do that. A locomotive burning vegetable oil protects the air and generates some intriguing smells for the men and women that operate them. Some people say it smells like french fries, some people say it smells like egg rolls. Uh, I personally find that it smells like hamburgers and after I've been on the engine all day I feel like I've been standing outside at the barbecue at a tailgate party. This is just one of the many initiatives the railroad is doing. They're also collecting rainwater to dramatically reduce the need for tap water for the steam engines, using solar power to heat the water in their hotel, and shifting to eco-friendlier fuels for diesel locomotives. These are just some of the efforts being done company-wide. Hi, Sherry. Hi, where are y'all? 
all from? Though the Grand Canyon Railway is proud of these efforts, what's most important to them is that their passengers have a great time on board their train. Hey! Finally, a car that's awake! As always, Grand Canyon Railway throws all kinds of entertainment your way to and from the canyon. Engineer Mike Brooks is at the controls today. He, like many others, has a great love of trains and this trip. Part and parcel, it is a very nostalgic way to travel. It's a very historic way to get to a, what is really a historic place. A place visited by history-making trains that passengers could never tell are powered by such environmentally friendly locomotives. There is opportunity for quiet reflection here on the Colorado Plateau of Northern Arizona. The generations of history represented by the Grand Canyon Railway, and most of all, the canyon itself. There's nothing quite like seeing the Grand Canyon for the first time. Everybody talks about it, but it is pretty darn overwhelming. And it's not uncommon to see people literally become emotional uh, at the first glimpse of the Grand Canyon. 